Hello, this is Geraldine. Um, this is for development of your character. Uh, most of you have probably been uh, rehearsing for a while, but these might be just a few more tips to how to get into character. When I for, I can share with you what how what helps me to get in character. I find that I think first I think about the character. I think about the purpose, what you know, the aim when that character gets on stage. So if it's the mother, she might be wanting to advise the children or nurture the children so you know so you get into that posture of nurturing or if she's cross she might get into posture of, so you think of the purpose you think of the age you think of the situation and you also think of the relationship between the characters um, of the people in the scene so it's good to when you develop your character to 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 they call it feed off each other meaning if say if I'm acting towards the child, say Paula, and I'm the mother, the nastier, more rebellious she gets, the easier it, it is for me to get angrier. So we sort of feed off each other. So helping each other develop the character is also valuable for developing your character. The other way is to think about your character in a sense of the posture of the character. So if um, we, uh, the way you carry yourself can help bring emotions and into your character and also give you an idea of what the character is. So if the character is an old person, obviously the back's a bit stiffer, there's a bit of heaviness, the shoulders come down. Or if the character is somewhat like a princess, then like Princess Perpenzin, so her chest would be up and her head slightly up and she'd hold herself. And she would have an air of confidence. Uh, coming from her position and so our posture has a lot to do with carrying our character and, and also our emotions for instance if we were not to f if we were not to feed the same or be congruent with what we're saying and what we're feeling so if I was to say I'm happy and my name is Paula it would not sort of bring the character up whereas if I said I'm happy and my name is Paula so that would bring the life, so our posture and how we carry ourselves. And it's very important as a character, when you develop the character, to get out of your own individual before you go on stage. So if you're going on stage, I would say try to unload yourself. And I'll, I do have another video uh, workshop, which will be how to, um, I suppose, de-stress or sort of get rid of, you know, unblock yourself as an actor. So have a look at that um, workshop to how to prepare yourself so you can get into character, which will be kind of like a meditation to unblock yourself. So going further about the developing your character is I often try and think of my character in a sense of an animal posture. So, it, so for instance, if I was one of the rebels um, in, in one of the characters in maybe the Call of Guadalupe show. I'd be thinking of the rebels as cheeky, a chim then I would think of an animal such as chimpanzee. So I'd get into, you wouldn't totally be an animal position, but it helps you. So you would start off sort of moving like a chimpanzee in a more actual like animal movement, but then you personalize it or rather put it into your character. So you'd be like, first as a chimpanzee, you'd be going like this, you know, that restlessness and kind of thing, but then you'd put it into a human thing, so I would be like, you know, Manuel, Diego, come on, come on, you know, that kind of, so you, you get into that more stooping type, and that helps to develop your character. Or say if you want to act like someone who's trying to flirt with someone, you might think of a pussycat, so you sort of, you can go, hello, how are you, you know. Are things going well? So you kind of think of pussycat, it gives you that kind of flowing feel. So animal postures can actually help develop your character. So try, try it at home and before you get on stage, try and walk like Alan would walk or walk like the king, you know, Montezuma. When I think of Montezuma or I think of a king, one of those Aztec, I would think of some big heavy baboon, you know, and I'd be like stomping that, and that helps me to get into character. And you could even use your voice, because when you when you get into that position, 
you're fine. You have a tendency towards your 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 voice being lower, and that helps your character. So, Monty Zuma, well, oh, that sort of that helps develop your character. Um, so try out a few of that, and also another thing that can help your character is a prop. So. Um, just imagine this is kind of like you know, a stick and you kind of you're angry with things so you use it and sometimes before I get on stage I, I get my prop and I start using it and go yeah I'm gonna get that person I hate that person or whatever you know whatever the character or or you might your prop might be you know is some you know child or some doll that you love so you kind of before you get on stage try and get into the movement the, the worst thing you can do on, before you get on stage is be chatting to friends just the last moment because you're not, you're not that character, you're not preparing. I, I ideally like to, to prepare half an hour before I get on stage, but I know some actors and professionals, like they might prepare in their character for weeks and weeks. Um, but, you know, if you can, before you get on stage, start walking like your character, you know, whatever character you've got and start um, putting the voice like your character and then warm up your voice too, you know, um, to help your character. Um, the important thing, once you get into the act, is not get too much into your head because sometimes as an actor, we need to really get into more into our bodies and if putting on a costume will help you get into your character, it's important. I once sort of uh, I liked a tip uh, another actor gave me once is imagine yourself, you know, you, you know, because sometimes you get on stage, you can be self, very self-conscious, but rather think, rather than think, I'm, oh, they're going to all be looking at me and I was just think, I'm going to be true to this character and now I'm going to go into this character. So just imagine this character is, um, say you were acting the bishop. So you say if the bishop was getting their costume on, I'd be like putting it on and then I'd be sort of putting myself aside and putting, putting the bishop on. And it's kind of like um, almost like you're going into a monkey suit, you know. So it's not you, it's not you are not there. So it's not Geraldine's not there at all. It's more Geraldine's interpreting the bishop. Say if I'm acting Rita. I'd be putting, uh, this is Rita's kind of, you know, like mask or what do you call it? Um, and I'd be going into her and I'm expressing myself and expressing Rita through my own voice, through my, my voice, my mind, my emotions and expressing. And think of, to lose consciousness, self-consciousness, think that you want to go out on that stage and be most true to that character. And focus on how you can entertain people so they can forget themselves and really get into character of that person and have compassion for that person. So say if you were acting Diego or a child, someone in that audience will be able to relate to your the way you are expressing the character. So don't think that you're not important when you're on stage. You're very, very important and how you express it is very important. So when so as I go on stage, I might be, you know, taking my own, um, getting into this costume and I'm putting on the character and, and then I'm sort of there performing and, and, and that's, you know, that's important and, and it's important to have a lot of fun because really we're communicating a hope and we're making people forget, you know, like all those people in the audience there, they need to be inspired, entertain and enjoy and um, I always think I'm acting for God, I'm acting for the audience so they can get a message, a true message of life, love and hope. Um, so I, so in that sense don't think to get too much into your head but more start to move the character, start to voice the character, start to sing the character, start to express the character and, and when you're there, um, enjoy being the character. Um, the other thing when you get into character is also to learn how to get out of character because obviously you don't want to save, 
you are acting as a prostitute, you don't want to like carry that character into your daily life afterwards. So it's important at the end to just say, okay, I've taken off the bishop, I've taken off the, you know, um, Rita, and now I'm Geraldine. So just, just to get yourself grounded and to also um, be very fit during, it also helps you get into character, to be strong and have energy. Um, but that's all I can think of for, for the moment to help you to get in character. You know, body postures, direction, your tone of voice, your, your, your accent, and how you interact, whether you like the person, whether you hate the person. Try and think of all that and once you've thought about it, don't keep carrying the thinking. Just relax into the character and allow your intuition and the Holy Spirit helping you in acting to do the rest. So God bless with characterization.